In this video I demonstrate a workflow, uh, how to work with uh, lists of vectors. The work with other lists uh, is similar. Uh, this is the scene, we have here uh, f uh, five vectors and we have a, a make array node which combines these vectors to a list and this list is sent first to the console output and the second one to a, polyno a polygon object and here is a timer and the timer updates the scene and we can see here the result and now uh, when I uh, start the timer I see here uh, my vector list, the coordinates, this is the output of the console node and I see uh, the speed I have to uh, 20 milliseconds uh, for each recompute in this moment. So now I go here and I can uh, use the last vector in this chain, this is this one here, and I can uh, change the values. And I see how the figure is updated. And I can do the same for other vectors too. This is the second one, this here. Uh, here I can move this around. And uh, the array make array node uh, works this way that it sorts the inputs from top uh, to bottom. That means when I now move one point out of this order, say the last point, I move it here inside then we see we have the one, the first, the third is this, then this node and the last node and we can do this the same way here. So we can reorder and get complex uh, figures. Okay, what we can do more, uh, another thing is we can uh, add uh, here uh, another vector that means we can go here and say another vector and we put it on the list oh. so this is the next vector the uh, last vector had these coordinates and we change the coordinates so we see here is a new vector on this on this chain how to create a vector, uh, symbols case is here uh, tab and vector ok um, oh sorry it's no vector add, I need a vector create vector, so and I can insert it here into the polygon and the vector array is simple uh, uh, make array. So make array I can now uh, connect the make array with some of this data. Say I use only uh, this three nodes. So now I have here a make array with three vectors and now I connect uh, this make array with the polygon. So in this case the polygon is now built up from this uh, three nodes of this make array in this case. Okay, the console output is still connected to the other array so we can switch it to, we can now connect it here and we see here the three coordinates. This is the way to create polygons, the dynamic way.